today at Christie's in a one of its, or rather first of its kind auction. A collage of digital photos sold for an astounding $69.4 million. The work is titled Every Day is the First 5,000 Days. It was made by a South Carolina artist named Beeple, whose real name is Mike Winkleman. Christie says it is the first time a major auction house offered a digital-only artwork and the first time cryptocurrency was accepted as payment, 69 Million. Yeah, so that number. Also, you might be wondering just how can digital art sell for so much money <laughs> and what makes it so unique? It's all being made possible by a new cryptocurrency called NFT or non fungible token. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge explains. I never even thought to ever see that number in my life. This is the moment Chris Torres realized his digital piece of artwork of a cat flying through space had just sold in an online auction for hundreds of thousands of dollars. It actually ended up selling for what it amounted to 300 Ethereum, which is a type of cryptocurrency, which equates to about $560,000. And that, that happened just like last month. And I'm still like, I'm still stoked about it. <laughs> His creation called Nyon Cat is an NFT, short for non fungible token. It's the latest cryptocurrency craze, think Bitcoin. But instead of holding a coin or dollar, you hold an asset like art, tickets, music. It's basically a collectible, says tech expert Ian Marlowe. We used to have baseball cards that get traded and there is different values of those unique items or limited production items. There is a value that people attribute to that. Except NFTs only exist as a digital file. For example, a video highlight of NBA star LeBron James Duncan sold for $208,000. The rock band Kings of Leon are the first to release an album as an NFT. Jack Dorsey, the creator of Twitter, is selling his first ever tweet, just setting up my Twitter from 2006 for more than 2.5 million. People have been kind of looking for ways to fit together the art bubble and the tech bubble. And this seems to be the latest, maybe most successful way. Anyone can buy NFTs in an online marketplace. And just like buying a stock, it's a gamble. If they believe in it and they believe it has value, like many of us do for stocks or paintings or classic vinyl albums that are suddenly worth a lot of money, this is that digital version of that. But like any new trend, it's anyone's guess if NFTs are here to stay. Natalie Dedridge, CBS 2 News. And that's the truth. The world's first major NFT art exhi uh, exhibition is in the works. It's going to be accessible from anywhere. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> you, can't, you can't touch it. Nope. It's a file. Yeah, just but, like our 401k, you can't touch it. Yeah, <laughs> it's too. like it. But in other words, I don't get it. Uh, right? It's unbelievable. I've got to let this one sit for a minute. That's right. Let's think about yeah, it. Yeah, but it's Don't let it pass us by. <laughs>